Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. This is weekly tarot reading for zodiac sign Taurus for both men and women all over the world being born under Taurus zodiac sign. So, new week is approaching, starting uh, with this date, June 11th until June 17th. 2018. I have, and I will start first with um, uh, your career spread, and then we will talk about love, life of yours. So, if you're a man or woman, if you're single or attached, you are still welcome here on my channel. So, first, let me say a couple of uh, words when it comes to your job, work, career, business, or whatever you might call. Uh, okay, so the very first tarot card is Major Arcana the Hermit. Ten of Wands and Three of Cups. Okay, those two tarot cards at the first sight are not um, uh, people who are not into tarot. Maybe, maybe people will say, no, I don't like that. Those two tarot cards are negative, you know, whatever. But don't be so hasty. Uh, listen what I have to say. Okay? Okay. So, Major Arcana the Hermit is about being uh, secluded, being on a side uh, and being uh, in a silence. So, why sometimes, uh, you know, and not for only one time, um, for a couple of times, you know, throughout our life, we need to be alone. This is period of silence when we are on a crossroad milestone of some kind, uh, you know, before we make a move, before we make a decision, uh, we need to be quiet, we need to spend, you know, sometimes, you know, in a silence, uh, talking, with, basically talking with your higher self. This is you looking for, uh, for any answer, and still I'm talking about career part of your life, this is you looking for a light. Maybe some of you don't have a job. So this is you. Can you see this torch inside of your hand? This is you talking with your recruiter. This is you trying, you know, to find uh, what is good for you. But also where you fit. Where you fit. What that means. Can you see the next tarot card? Ten of Wands. And this is not easy tarot card. But you need to understand, first of all, this is fire energy. It means this is your spirit. So now we know your spirit is down, most likely. Either you don't have a job, so you need to go. Well, I can't say that you need to go in the cave. You need to go in your living room or in your, or in your whatever. I don't know. Maybe you have a study inside of your house or, or this could be like a, a corner uh, you know, uh, inside of your house or in your condo, flat, studio, apartment, you know, whatever, you know, whatever, where you need to sit down, you need to take a pencil and a piece of paper and write it down. What you want, where you do see yourself, are you pleased with your current job, if you have a job, or how come you don't have a job, with whom you can speak in order to get a job or maybe what you are doing wrong. If you have a job, you are overwhelmed, you work too much. This is why you have this tarot card. Can you see? This is you going up stairs. Can you see? But this is not easy. So can you see? This person, man of woman, holds a big burden. So maybe you think that you can't uh, you know, uh, hold this burden anymore. But on the other side, can you see those stairs? Anyway, it is not easy to be in your skin right away. But you are going on a hierarchy level. This is you going up, up, up. Can you see that? So if you want to be paid more, you need to figure it out, you know, how how to go, you know, on a hierarchy level. And the final tarot card when it comes to your career is Three of Cups. 
So I can see could be three people, could be 33 people, you know, but this is most likely your family, but also this could be your colleagues. This is a celebration inside of your office, factory, shop, or wherever basically you're working. Most likely you will have, you know, at least one big reason for celebration. Most likely you want to uh, get a raise. Maybe you want to go on a hierarchy level inside of your company, like going, you know, higher. But you do you tend not to believe in you. Major kind of the hermit basically saying, no, 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 I can't do that. I will leave, you know, this job. But maybe there is someone who will say to you, no, you can't, you know, resign. You need to be diligent. You know, look at me. I am working diligently for the past, like, 30 years, you know, and, you know, follow my path. And you will see one day, you know, it everything will be, you know, pay, pay out for you as well. So, on the first sight, those three tarot cards are rather harsh and difficult, but basically it is not for some of you. Maybe this is you becoming a spiritual uh, worker of some kind, maybe even a tarot reader. Maybe this is you um, going on some course. Maybe this is tarot, maybe this is astrology, maybe Reiki, maybe, I don't know, could be yoga, could be, I don't know, could be anything at all. And customers mainly, most likely, will be women. Okay, now, this is a little something for Korea, and after my shuffling, I've, I've got those five tarot cards, so let me see, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Prince of Swords, and the final one, Prince of Princess of Swords and the Prince of Swords. Okay, so what is the story? So we can see new beginning of some kind. We can see some, you know, fussing and fighting. We can see some, some, you know, disbelieving. And I can see two people with arm, you know, in their hand. So, honey, <laughs> this is you fighting over something with someone. Because you can't believe. To tell you the truth, um, I think that this is ongoing relationship. And uh, you want to be with him and he want to be with you. Or you want to be with her and, you know, or she want to be with you. Never mind. I can't repeat it because I will break my tongue. Uh, so, something new is on the horizon. Something new between two people who basically love each other. But the thing is, you don't understand each other. This is what is happening. Especially if you are in a relationship with um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, um, S uh, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Um, you see, I can see Tauruses, both female and male. If you are in a relationship with someone, I'm not saying that you are not in love with this person. I'm not saying that. I think you love this person next to you. But the thing is, uh, you don't understand. You don't understand each other. How many times you said, or maybe this is your partner saying to, because every single story always goes vice versa. How many times you said to your partner, I've I could have been you know with someone else, and you know that, but I choose you. I chosen you. And once again, you know, I'm choosing you. Why you don't trust me? I think this is basically what is going on now. So trust most likely is the issue. So if you are partnered, calm yourself down. Calm yourself, you know, down because... This is ongoing uh, love relationship and this person will come again, back, back, back and once again, you know, to you. So no matter how harsh uh, you are fighting against uh, each other, which is obviously, you know, uh, he will come back again, again and again. If you are single, what then? I think during this week there is a friend and another friend of yours and simply you can't choose. This is you like... Uh, a boy or a girl standing in front of a shop window and simply you can't 
change. You can't make a decision uh, to be with this Leo Sets or Eris or to be with Libra Gemini or to choose, you know, uh, Scorpio. So what it is going to be with one person of those we I just mentioned, with one person you have such a good sex life. I mean, this is an imaginable good sex life. But you don't understand each other. On the other side, you have someone with whom you can talk very, very nicely. Someone who is committed type of, you know, material. <laughs> you know what I mean. But sexual relationship is not... Sexual side of this relationship is not that good. So, honey, everything is on you. You need to make a decision. If you are completely still single, if you really do not know who this person might be, go to a gym because this could be the place where you can meet this person. And not only that, if your soul is very, very, you know, fine, go to exhibition of any kind, could be theater, you know, could be whatever, because there is a person already waiting for you. Okay. This is our weekly tarot reading for Zodiac Sign Taurus. Don't be lazy. Listen your weekly prediction for Moon Sign and especially for your Rising Sign. Book a private reading with me if you want. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Take care.